today in this lesson i will going to explain what is isomerism and its types so starting with the definition uh, it has a very simple definition that compound having the same molecular formula but different structures are called isomers to each other or isomers and the terminology or phenomena is called isomerism okay when we talk about the types of isomerism mainly isomerism is classified into two types number one type is called structural isomerism and the second type is called stereo isomerism and furthermore when we talk about the structural isomerism this one can be considered as it is two dimensional and stereo isomerism is three dimensional when we talk about the types of structural isomerism so there are so many types but in this lesson i will only explain the five types so these are the five types number one type is called chain isomerism the second type is called positional isomerism third type is functional group isomerism fourth is metamerism and the fifth is totomerism when we talk about the stereo isomerism so stereo isomerism is also classified into two types so number one type is called geometric isomerism and the second type is called optical isomerism in this lesson i will only explain the structural isomerism and the types of structural isomerism with examples so if you want to watch uh, or you understand the stereo isomerism so you can find the link of another video of stereo isomerism in the description of that video okay moving forward toward the structural isomerism so first of all i will talk about the chain isomerism okay now what is chain isomerism this is the definition of chain isomerism compound having same molecular formula and same functional group but different in their carbon chain are called chain isomerism and you have to remember this word when we have different arrangement of carbon inside the molecule then the isomerism will be arised termed as chain isomerism okay let me show you the example now you can see these are two molecules and when we just count the number of carbon and the hydrogen so you will find both have four carbon and 10 hydrogen okay but what is the difference you can see in the first molecule this is a straight chain molecule and the second molecule is a branch basically what just happened the only only because of the different arrangement of the carbon atom so you can see both are different in term of structure but their molecular formula is the same okay let me show you another example very common example uh, this one is called this is this one example of pentane in pentane we have five carbon now you can see this one this one is the first molecule in the first molecule uh, and there are five carbon and there are 12 hydrogen and in the second molecule you can also see this one is the branch this is also called isopentane and the third one is called neopentane basically in general if we just count the number of carbon so you can find every molecule have five carbon and 12 hydrogen but you can see there is a difference in carbon arrangement so whenever you see this change so it means this type of isomerism is chain isomerism okay now let's talk about the position isomerism first of all the definition the isomers having same carbon chain but different positions of the functional group substituent or multiple bonds multiple bonds mean double bond or triple bond are called position isomers okay now remember that the carbon chain there will be no change in carbon chains only what you will see there will be a different position of the functional group or the substituent or the multiple bonds okay let me explain this thing with the hand with few examples so this is the first example in the first example number one thing uh, these are the two compounds if we just try to check whether two compounds have the same molecular formula so both of both molecules have same mo molecular formula that is uh they have they have three carbon seven hydrogen and one chlorine if we count that okay what kind of difference we can see now in the first compound the chlorine atom the chloro basically is attached with the first carbon but in the second you can see the chlorine atom is now connected with the second carbon so you can see the position of this chlorine has changed 
this type of isomerism we can say or these type of isomers we can say they are position isomer okay let me show you another example here now in this example you can if you just try to count the number of carbon there are three carbon and there are eight hydrogen and one oxygen so both have the same molecular formula so what change we can see the OH group basically in the first example the OH group is connected with the first carbon and in the second the OH group is connected with the second carbon so the position of the group or uh, the functional group uh, is different in both of the cases okay another example in this example now you can see we have here the double bond position okay now in the first of all uh, check whether the molecular formula what is the molecular formula now you can see the both have the same molecular formula that is C4H8 now what is the change we can see the double bond position in the okay in the first example the double bond between uh, carbon number one and two but in the second example the double bond is between carbon number two and three so you can clearly see the there is a change of the position of the double bond so this type of isomerism is called position isomerism okay moving forward now let's talk about the functional group isomerism so first of all the definition the compound having same molecular formula but different functional group are called functional isomers and the phenomena of existence of such compound is called functional isomerism okay uh, let understand this thing with an uh, with an example now you can see these are two compounds okay if we start counting uh, checking whether they have the same number of carbon okay the first one has two carbon the second one is also have two carbon and first one has three uh, three two one six hydrogen and the second one also have six hydrogen the first one has one oxygen and the second one also have one oxygen so you can say that molecular formula uh, of both uh, the substance is same but what is the difference here now you can see this OH represent alcohol and this O in between two carbon represent ether now you can see both compound have the same molecular formula but both are showing different functional groups so this kind of isomerism is known as functional group isomerism okay now let's move toward the another example in this example uh, if you just clearly see both have the same molecular formula that is C3H6O okay now if we just focus on this area this area indicate this one is aldehyde okay and if we just focus on this that the carbonyl carbon this carbon is surrounded by two alkyl groups so this one is ketone now we can clearly see first one is aldehyde and second one is the ketone so there is a difference of functional group but the molecular formula is same so we can say this one is functional group isomerism okay another example here now you can see the first molecule is showing it this one is uh, carboxylic acid and the second one is showing it uh, this one is ester both have the same molecular formula if we count there are two carbon four hydrogen and two oxygen now whenever we see these kind of changes that there is a change of functional group but the molecular formula is same though so they are called functional group isomer isomers okay now moving forward toward another type that is called metamerism in the metamerism the compound having same molecular formula but different in alkyl group present in the either side of the same functional group are called metamers the phenomena is called metamerism okay here the functional group will be the same but the alkyl group attached to the functional group may have different arrangement of the carbon okay let me show you now you can see this one is ether okay in this ether we can clearly see there are this one can be identified as ethyl and here we can also identify this one as ethyl because of two carbon right now uh, or you can also identify this one as on this uh, ether on the right hand side we have two carbon on the left hand side we have two carbon but now now if I compare this one with that now you can see here the same molecular formula compound uh, on the right hand side we have only one carbon on the left hand side we have three carbon so uh, you can clearly see there is a change of alkyl group and both are different compounds with respect to their structures okay another example uh, similar to same molecular formula now here we have uh, 
this one carbon alkyl group and here we have a different type of alkyl group now you can see on the other side there is a there may be change of carbon arrangement but the as the functional group is the same so we call this as uh, they are metamers of each other okay moving forward okay now let's talk about the totomerism okay first of all the definition here in this special type of functional isomerism in which there is a migration of alpha hydrogen from a carbon to a electronegative atom and vice versa with necessary rearrangement of the covalent bond okay example is keto in all totomerism okay uh, very typical uh, definition here if i just uh, try to make it clearly only what will happen here there will be uh, we will be getting another isomer only by the transfer of alpha hydrogen okay let me show you now you can see here now this one is amino acid okay amino acid is composed of two functional group this one is acetic group or we can also call carboxylic and this one is basic in nature basically these are amines okay if we recall our definition of acid uh, specifically the bronsted lewry acid okay according to bronsted basically acid is a substance which donate h plus sign and the base is a substance which accept h plus sign or we can say the acid is a substance which uh, donate protons and the base which uh do uh, accept proton okay now uh, with respect to this this hydrogen if i just migrate this hydrogen toward here so what i will get here i will get this compound okay, now the ox hydrogen has been moved toward this group okay now we have a different arrangement here okay remember that that these are the same compound okay so they can coexist here it depends on the condition whether it can exist in first form or it can exist in the second form in the last example i was showing you that there was always two compounds basically two different compound right now in totomerism there will always will be a same compound that is transforming to another shape or another structure by the transfer of proton okay now let's talk about another example to understand more about this totomerism okay now this one is ketone and this form is also called keto form okay what will going to happen if i just transfer this one hydrogen there are three hydrogen to this oxygen then what we will get here we will get this kind of compound now this compound is not any more ketone uh we have alcoholic group and we have double bond here so uh, basically previously there was the double bond between carbon and oxygen now the double bond has shifted here because of the shifting of the this hydrogen and this form is called enol form and in ketones we also have these enol forms uh, when there are suitable conditions okay now both are the form of same compound but they exist differently at different conditions so these are the totomers thank you